Naitwa John Matthew Mnali ni mkurugenzi wa idara ya uhamasishaji uwekezaji kutoka kituo cha uwekezaji Tanzania TIC. Leo tumekuwa na ugeni kutoka Austria ambao ni ugeni wa makampuni 14 wamekuja nchini kwa ajili ya kutafuta fursa mbalimbali za uwekezaji. Kwa hiyo kupitia mkutano wetu wa leo ambao utakuwa na wamu mbili awamu ya kwanza wanakutana na taasisi na wizara mbalimbali za serikali ambako nako kuna miradi mbalimbali mbali ya uwekezaji ambayo wangependa kufanya nao pamoja. Kwa hiyo kwa mfano baadhi ya taasisi ambazo ziko humu na wizara kuna wizara ya ulinzi, kuna wizara ya afya, kuna wizara ya elimu, kuna wizara ya nishati, kuna wizara ya fedha na taasisi zingine kama TTB na kadhalika. Pamoja na TPDC. E, kwa hiyo baada sasa ya awamu hii ya pili ya kwanza kutakuwa pia na mkutano mwingine unaofuata baada ya huu ambapo kampuni binafsi nazo zitaweza kushiriki na kukutana na ujumbe huu wa wafanyabiashara na wawekezaji kutoka nchini Austria kwa lengo hilo hilo la kuweza kutafuta fursa mbalimbali za wawekezaji zilizoko nchini. Kwa hiyo kituo cha wawekezaji tuko hapa ili kuhakikisha kwamba mikutano hii na mijadala hii inafanyika vizuri na taarifa zote muhimu zinazohusiana na mazingira ya wawekezaji nchini zinapatikana kwa wale wawekezaji wetu wa ndani lakini hata na wao nje ambao wako mahali hapo. Kwa majina naitwa Brenda Nimaro ni afisa mwandamizi kutoka kituo cha wawekezaji Tanzania dawati la uwekezaji wa nje na tuko hapa kama alivyotazungumza kuzungumza mkurugenzi mtendaji kaimu mkurugenzi mtendaji kwa ajili ya kuwapokea kampuni makampuni zaidi ya kumi na mbili ambayo yanatoka nchini Austria kwa ajili ya kuja kutafuta fursa mbalimbali za biashara na uwekezaji hapa nchini makampuni haya ya ujumbe wa makampuni haya kutoka Austria unaongozwa na waziri wao wa kazi na uchumi ambaye asubuhi ya leo alikuwa nakutana na ujumbe kutoka ofisi ya rais ambapo alikutana na katibu mkuu ofisi ya rais mipango na uwekezaji lakini pia alikutana na mheshimiwa waziri uh, wa utalii kwa sababu pia ni ujumbe ambao una interest kwenye uwekezaji kwenye sekta ya utalii vile vile kwa hiyo makampuni tulioko hapa ni makampuni eh, takriban 12 kutoka na nchini Austria na sisi kituo cha uwekezaji eh, kwa kushirikiana na taasisi ya sekta binafsi TPSF tunaratibu kwa kutanisha uh, sekta za umma uh, pamoja na sekta binafsi kwa ajili ya kuweza kutana makampuni haya kwa nia ya kuchambua uh, na kutafuta fursa mbalimbali za mashirikiano hisa kuweza kuona wanajielekeza katika miradi gani uh, kwa mujibu wa taarifa tulizokuwa tumezipokea kwa ndana na ugeni huu wa mheshimiwa waziri wa kazi na uchumi wa Austria Uh, ugeni huu umejikita kwenye sekta mbalimbali mbali. wako ambao wako interested na sekta ya elimu lakini pia kuna wafanyabiashara ambao wako interested na sekta ya uh, miundombinu na kwa sababu hiyo utaona watu wenzetu wa wizara ya ujenzi eh, wenzetu wa tazara wenzetu wa viwanja vya ndege wako hapa lakini pia uh, wako watu wa sekta ya nishati na gesi na ndio maana wenzetu wa wizara ya nishati wizara ya madini eh, lakini pia kipekee kabisa watu wa TPDC wako hapa kwa ajili ya kutoa uh, elimu ya kutosha na na muongozo namna ambavyo wawekezaji hawa wanaweza kufanikiwa kutekeleza miradi katika sekta hizo ambazo tumezitaja. Mimi ni Edith Bredorf. I'm the commercial counselor of Austria in East Africa and I have come with a delegation of 24 companies who are interested in doing business with Tanzania in various areas. It can be trade, but we are also very much interested in investing into the country and also looking to um, uh, secure employment here in Tanzania. Uh, so the areas that our com companies are mostly interested in are industry, um, healthcare, um, ICT um, and uh, transport um, uh, infrastructure as well as energy. So we, you see that we have brought a very broad delegation and uh, we are grateful um, to the Tanzan to Tanzanians officials to host us uh, in such a hospitable manner and we look forward to a lot of uh, meaningful business engagements. Um, Tanzania is a long-standing and very good business partner to Austrian companies. I can mention in um, Andre Hydro, for example, uh, who uh, supplies Tanzania with water turbines for the power generation. And I can also mention First Alpine Railway Systems, uh, who is a supplier to uh, the um, uh, railway that is now built inland. Um, and very many other companies that continuously work uh, with Tanzania. So we've seen a lot of Um, changes in uh, also investment policies in Tanzania and we um, do not want to be the ones to miss out on this business opportunity.
How many companies? We have 24 companies 24. and 24 companies in this big business delegation. And as a commercial counselor, I can also tell you that uh, it makes me very proud because this is the largest delegation that I have um, accompanied so far to Tanzania. You'll be here for how long? Um, we are only here for today, so we have arrived yesterday, so one and a half days in Tanzania. But uh, we are always willing to come back. Um, our, my personal, my office is in Nairobi, so I'm only a stone's throw away. And from my office, Advantage Austria, Nairobi, we are covering 11 countries in the region. So I come, as a commercial counselor, I come to Tanzania very frequently. And uh, in case of any um, authorities or even private companies that are interested in getting in touch with Austrian companies, I'm always here to make this connection.